What's up, Wayne Brown here with darkfix.net and we are inside of VMware and which is inside of Windows 8. Let's try that again. We're inside of Windows 8 virtual machine running inside of VMware player. And what we're going to be doing today is, or this evening I should say, from care, what we're going to do is that we're going to install the version of IIS that comes with Windows 8. Now if you have Windows 8 personal this will not work or home or whatever it's called this you will not be able to do this in windows home so uh, this is for windows professional and windows ultimate versions and so anyway what you do is that you go up here and you bring up in your settings choose control panel and then after you get inside of control panel you choose uh, programs 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 and features. Okay, once programs and features opens up, we come over here, we turn Windows features on or off. And let's go up here and make sure that we still have our CD in. And, yep, it's still sitting in yonder. So, what we want to do is go to Internet Information Services. We want to click here put it, try it again okay choose that go down here to management we want to choose IIS um, metabase and six configuration compatibilities we want that one IIS managing management console and see here let's go down and choose ASP because I run ASP Classic Sites, so I need ASP. We also want .NET and 3.5 and 4.5. I do not run CGI, so I'm not going to worry about that. And we're not going to worry about none of them. And everything else should be good to go. And IS. Yeah. As you can tell, I'm learning this uh, as I'm uh, instructing you. This is actually, um, I just got finished installing Windows 8 just a little while ago. As a matter of fact, I just got finished uploading the video on the installation. Um, provide services and management tools for creating and running virtual machines and their resources. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that right now. So anyway, let's go ahead and click OK. And this is going to install it. Download files from Windows Updates. Yeah, let's go ahead and download files from Windows Updates. Okay, we are downloading the required files that the system needs. And, um... So I reckon once this part is completed, uh, the one thing that I didn't do first, which I should have done, and I wouldn't be putting up with this, is that I did not go into Windows Update and download uh, my updates yet. So that'll be the next thing that I do. I sort of kind of jumped the gun on this one, uh, as I wanted to get this one out before I actually went to bed. So um, that's the reason why it's taking just a little bit longer. And so make sure that you jump on to Windows Update first and get all of your updated uh, whatever your system needs, um, whether it's drivers or uh, hot fixes or whatever that's available for Office. I mean, have <laughs> for Windows 8. Okay, the system is applying the changes. Okay, it looks like we are finished. Windows completed the requested changes. Let's go ahead and close this. So that's closed. So now let's go ahead and close out of here. And then let's figure out how to actually get to it. Because um, I don't think I can get to it. Yeah, here we go. Alright, um, so what you do is that, well, let's jump back over to the desktop you run your cursor down here and it brings up in this little start menu then you click on the start menu you gotta catch it quickly I ah, forget it try one more time alright there we go now I click on internet information services 
And let's see how different it is from IS-75. Do you want to get started with the Microsoft Web Platform to stay connected with latest Web Platform components? Um, go ahead and choose yes on that for right now. But anyway, everything looks to, uh, very similar to that of IS-75. Alright, this is Wayne Barron with DarkFakes.net. Y'all have a rockin' weekend. Bye-bye.